All right, so we are going to be finishing up the portion of the series that is available on YouTube. We've gotten dogs all the way through getting used to the table, holding, holding and walking, multiple objects, and feathers. You get to see that today. If you want to continue to follow along the course as we move into fetch all the way to the field, that will be available at standingstonesupply.com slash courses. Enjoy this session, and we'll see you in the next one. Hey everybody, Ethan here with Standing Stone, and we are going to be doing the essentially last step in this step of the process, which is hold and walk. Now, like we just mentioned, it's going to be important if you want to continue to follow along with the series, you need to go to standingstonesupply.com to the courses section, where we'll have all of the rest of this process laid out. We're going to get rolling with tricks here, just a quick warm up. This is a soft mouth bumper here. Hold, pick your head up, here, hold, good. This is obvious, if your dog looks like this, I don't want to say obvious, we don't want to assume anything, but if your dog is looking like this, good, you are most likely ready for the next step. One of the big things that we wanted to include though before we continued on is feathers. I have a frozen bird here, and not to be too morbid, but we've removed the head, the wings, and the feet to make this as close as you can to some form of bumper, right? It's bumper shaped. That's gonna make it easier for them, but this bird is frozen. So we're gonna work through a couple holds here. We did do holds stationary before, but I think I used a slightly smaller bird, like a chucker hold. Uh, this is a small duck. Come on. And we'll, ah, you can see instantly she says, ah, I'm less interested in holding on to this. This is why it's important to work through. Here, hold, no, hold. She's fine to hold it stationary, here, hold, here, hold, good, good girl, little encouragement helped a lot. Some dogs are going to do better with frozen birds, some dogs will do better with fresh killed birds. Um, I've got that next that we'll move into, hold, come on. One thing to keep in mind, Good. We don't want to do overly long holds with these frozen birds because it's essentially like, let's take an ice cube, hold it in your mouth. Does that make your teeth cold? Yes, it does. So we did a little bit there, but then we'll move into this. This is a recently, this morning, killed bird. Hold. It's a little smaller, a little lighter. Hold. Come on. Should be easier here. Hold. Come on. Come on. You can see she's doing drastically better with this. She can hold and walk with all of the objects, including birds, and this is what I would categorize as good enough to move on. Good. We'll finish that up with her. Grab the next dog. All right, back with Shock. We've done a couple sessions in between the last. She struggled a little bit with the holding and hold and walk category, but she is making decent progress. Hold. Hold. We're able to take a few more steps. Hold. Good, make one more loop here. You can see that's, that's pretty good progress. We have done a few sessions since the last one you got to see. Hold, just repping this, little steps at a time. Hold, hold, hold. Good, nice. Um, we're gonna move into a different object here. This is the feathered bumper. Hold, ah, 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 ah. hold, come on, ah, no. Hold, come on, nice job, hold, here, hold, good. Little reminder with the one mistake that she made there. Now let's go ahead and move on to and see if she in fact can do this frozen bird. This will be brand new for her, like it was Trix. Let's see how she does here, hold. Some dogs are gonna do better, some dogs are gonna do worse as you progress into feathers. Shh. Hold. No. This one, she says, is cold and hard. Hold. Good. Um, some dogs also, if you're, you're struggling with a mouthing or a hard mouth dog before you get into this process, the more um, firm or frozen or hard type objects that you use, 
the better that's going to be because it's not an enjoyable thing to crunch down on this rock hard bird. So that's why you see almost a little bit sloppier mouth trying to hold it. Hold. Good. That I'm happy with. I want to move on to this fresh killed bird with her and see how she does. Hold. Now. There you go. Hold. No. 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 What is going on, babe? Hold. No. Good. Showing her what the expectation is. Stop screwing around. I know it's different. It's new. And that is a prime example of why we have to work through all of the different things. She almost did better with the frozen bird. Trix did better with the fresh killed bird. No. Now I would categorize this girl here. Ah, no. Hold. Good. As a probably one of the best actual bird retrievers of these young dogs, which is kind of funny to say out loud when you're saying she's struggling a little bit with this fresh killed bird here. It just goes to show though that this process is different for each dog and you just have to take it as you go in stride and work through what you're seeing. Hold. 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 Come on. Here. Hold. Good. Let's do one more. I like that. It's almost like a light switch flipped and she's like, oh yeah, I, I can do this. I remember. I remember birds. I like those things. Hold. Come on. Come on. Hold. Well, encouragement this way. Hold. I'm almost spending here. Here. Hold. I'm spending more time Spending more time specifically with her because her one of her bigger faults or struggles in this process has been like too excited, too much movement. So I'm trying to help keep her settled. I don't want her to run down the table. I want her to walk with me on a more um, controlled type of speed and pace. Ooh. And that is going to help us to continue to progress. She's doing a really nice job. We may throw in just because we know her history, maybe one more session, but she's ready to move on to fetch. On to Clay. Good, come on. Good boy, here, let's go. We'll do a quick up and down with a bumper here. Hold, come on, hold. Clay, come on. Here, hold, here, come on. No. Did not expect that. He's been doing a really nice job, so just handle it. Verbal correction back in his mouth. Good. I'm not even that worried about it. Let's skip on to this. Come on. Hold. Come on. Hold. Take a few steps. Come on, come on, come on. Hold. Good. Let's go this way. Good. Now turn around. Here. Nice. We'll walk all the way back down the table from here. Hold. Getting his gum still out of the way, making sure he's got a good grip on it. Hold. Come on. Good boy. Clay. Good boy. Hold. Good. Nice job. Let's move on to this fresh killed bird here. That in there should be real easy to hold on to. Hold. Here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hold. Pick your head up. Here. Here. Come on. Good. Clay. No. Same thing. So he's struggling a little bit with that turnaround. It's not the end of the world. You have this good of an understanding of hold. Um, it's only going to get better once we start fetch work. Good. Here. Here. Come on. Ooh, all the way around. Good boy. Hold. Come on. Come on. Nice job. Hold. Clay. Hold. Hold. Here. Hold. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nice. Here. 
hold. Good. Good boy. All right, so he's doing a nice job holding and holding and walking um, bir with birds, feathers, different objects. He's ready to move on to fetch work. Legs, come on. Come here. Good girl. Nice job. Okay, come on. Good. We've, she's been doing a nice job, but struggling a little bit in the category of the head dropping stuff. It's getting better, but it's still there. Come on. Let's do a little warm up with you. Hold. Come on. Walk with me. Here. Hold. Come on. No. Hold. Come on. Come on. Legs. Good girl. A few steps at a time. Hold. Hold. Come on. Hold. Good girl. Come on. Hold. Nice. Good. Getting to see a good balance of dog that moved too fast, dog that's pretty balanced, dogs that are obviously moving too slow or too little seem apprehensive with the process. Now it comes down to a point of looking at how can we encourage or how can we continue to um, build excitement around what is going on. And there definitely is a stage of encouragement that can happen there. But all in all, the more that we encourage her, the more she's excited to go do anything but the task at hand. So we do have to balance how much enthusiasm we throw at the situation and just try and keep sessions short. Come on, here, let's go, come on. Good girl. Let's turn around and go this way. Hold, come on. Good, here, hold. Dropping her head. Can't think about walking unless her head's on the ground. Good, let's go ahead and move up. Come on, here. Here, good girl. Turn around now. Good. Hold, come on. Trick, or legacy, excuse me. Come on. Hold, good. Good girl. Good, nice. Let's go ahead and try this. Hold. Uh, 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 uh. Acting instantly like, uh, I don't want to do this. Hold. And it can be tough. Some of you are going to have dogs that are going to say, I really don't want to do this. Good. The, the problem with the situation is most of the time we're in this realm because we have a dog that already doesn't want to do it. You can encourage sometimes dogs to want to do better and help and play the game. But ultimately what we're looking at and moving towards is advanced levels of testing and handling. So it moves into a category of it's no longer truly an option of do you want to do this? You kind of have to do this. And once they figure that out, everything moves in the right direction. Let's go. Good girl. Turn all the way around. Hold. Now she was interested in that chucker down there. Hold. Uh, 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 uh. If she doesn't want to do well with the frozen bird, we'll work through something simple like this. Good. She can hold that. I don't hunt frozen birds. Usually we just pick those up at the grocery store or something like that. So moving into a fresh kill, uh, it'll be a little easier for her to hold on to and she should hold, do better with that. Good. Come on. Hold. Where she didn't want that frozen bird at all. She's doing a nice job holding this and then we're working through the same, encouraging her to walk. Good. Let's do one more. See, she even wants to keep that. There is a difference in Come on. making adjustments. Don't try and fit the square peg in the round hole. We need to try and see what we can do to help ultimately encourage her moving toward the end goal. Hold. Come on. Not getting stuck on a step. Hold if she's struggling and it's not truly necessary. Good. Hold. Come on. Come on. Good. Holding and walking. Good. This is uh, overall a pretty good job. Could use, I would love to see more enthusiasm out of her, but it's um, one of those things that it's more her personality. So 
we have to find ways to help her to get through it faster so she can get back to playing fetch and having fun that way, but have the structure applied to it. So not a bad session for her. She's doing a nice job holding and walking, including feathers. Alrighty, and last but not least, we have Doc. Do a quick warm up for him. Hold. He says, I'm ready to walk. Uh -uh -uh. Hold. I know we turn around about here and come back. I even have enough mental focus to hold. Hold. Good. And sniff feathers at the same time. So that looks good. Let's move on to this frozen bird. See how he does with that. Hold. He says, let's go for a walk. Hold. Hold. Good. Good job. We don't want to leave that in there. That could be bad. Come back two days later and we have stinky, dead, rotten duck. Hold. Gums out of the way. And we'll make a little loop here. Come on. Very nice. Hold. Good. You can see he's doing a very, very nice job. Obviously ready to move forward. Um, doing a good job with all of the different types of objects, including feathers, which is huge. He is ready for fetch work. All of them are, but in completely different places and exactly how they're working through that. Guys, I'm the guy with the pink gun. This is Doc. We'll continue the rest of the series, um, and it will be available for you at standingstonesupply.com in the courses section. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.